You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, now we're here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Chord Progressions. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Don't let me interrupt you, boys. Just dropping this off. Thanks, Dave. He gives Cliff a wink and then scurries off back behind the counter. Hmm. Ever had one of his sandwiches? They're the best. I haven't. I guess I'll find out. The sandwich is cut in half diagonally. I'll grab half and take a bite at the corner. Oh, let's see. Wow, no kidding! The sandwich is garnished with just enough lettuce and tomato, giving it that perfect... Hey, chair, what are you doing? There we go, okay. <clears throat> Alright. The sandwich is garnished just enough with just enough lettuce and tomato, giving it the perfect amount of brightness. This is complemented by the wonderful tangy mayonnaise spread onto the crunchy golden brown bread. The bacon serves as the headliner of this ensemble, delivering crispy, savory, and salty flavors in every delicious bite. The overall texture of the sandwich was pleasantly crisp, and it seems to all melt in my mouth as I chew. This is great! All in all, it's a well-rounded sandwich and perfectly assembled. 10 out of 10, Dave! Oh, wow, this is excellent. you think it'd be easy to just pile on a bunch of ingredients on some bread and call it a day, but Dave really makes an art out of it, huh? Yeah, he sure does. I take a few more bites. It gives way to another gasp, another gap of silence in our conversation, but I don't really seem to mind it. Again, it's just that aura of his. I can be patient and wait for the next conversation topic to organically occur. I really enjoy this dynamic. Hope he feels the same way. So, have you been to Douglas at all? Have you been in Douglas all your life? Technically, no. I was born in Brazil, but my parents and I immigrated when I was four. Oh, so you don't really remember anything out from there, do you? Nah, not really. Uh, once we got to the States, we moved around for a bit. And my dad and I settled in Douglas when I was nine. <laughs> Been here ever since. Oh, cool. So why'd your family immigrate, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind. My mom was a clinical psychologist. Uh, she figured there'd be more financial opportunity in the U.S., so dad and I tagged along, basically. Was a clinic- was a clinical psychologist? Either she isn't in that profession anymore, or she might have passed. Yeah, I'm not gonna open that potential can of worms. So, what kind of music does your band play? He brightened up a bit upon hearing the subject change. It's kind of hard to narrow it down to one genre. There's a lot of music that inspires us. Hip-hop, rock, R&B, jazz, disco. Eh, is it a mismatch of all those genres? No, not really. It has a lot of inspiration, but we try to keep it from being too, uh, eclectic. I think if I had to describe it concisely, I'd call it progressive jazzy EDM. Ah, oh, okay, that sounds interesting. How long have you guys been together? Um, I think we've only been jamming together for a little over a year. It's really just Dave and I experimenting with stuff that sounds interesting to us. April's just along for the ride. She doesn't provide a lot of creative input since she doesn't she doesn't have the time. Dave composes the rhythm and she performs it. He also composes all of the synth melodies. Cool. So what's the, so what instrument do you play then? I play bass. So you know. Awesome! How long have you been playing? Forever. My dad taught me. Oh, damn, you must be really good then. Meh, I'm alright. You should be a lot better for someone who's been playing for as long as I have, though. So, how about you? What do you play? Oh, I don't play any instruments. Don't really have any musical talent, period. Huh. Usually Chester likes to hire musicians. Are you just working in the kitchen then? Well, no, but yes? Maybe? I don't know yet. It's only my second day. He gives a bit of a perplexed look but it's followed by a warm smile. Well, I'm sure you're doing great either way. Yeah, I sure hope so. Another short pause in the conversation. I take the time to nibble on my sandwich more while he sips on his drink. So, I'm guessing if you're working here, there's a good chance you're LGBT too, yeah? Oh, yeah, right, I I'm, I'm gay. I speak with slight hesitancy. Even though I've been out of the closet for a few years, it can still be tough to actually vocalize it, especially to strangers. In Fairview, there could be serious consequences for saying those words to the wrong kind of person. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No, it's okay, I still have to get used to saying it out loud is all. Gotcha, thank you for trusting me with that. Someone just thanked me for coming out to them? That's new. I'm just used to being around people who are open about this kind of stuff. I made an assumption since you're running in similar social circles, that's my bad. It's fine, it's just more challenging to be open about that kind of stuff because of the environment I grew up in. I'm just glad to be in a new place that's more accepting. I'm happy for you too. He offers me another warm smile. So, how about you, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind at all. Well, I don't particularly care for labels, but I tend to like pansexual the best. Let's 
I guess that's how I identify. I'm... I'm... Pan-omnisexual. Alright, okay, cool. I don't think I've ever met anyone who identifies as pan before. Yeah, have you ever played Remnant? Yeah, it does a decent job, decent enough job summing up of what I'm into. But like I said, I'm not fond of labels. Sexuality is complicated and can't be summarized in just one word, you know. Oh, I gotcha. So in that case, could you summarize it in more than one word? His face lights up a bit. I can if you want me to. It might sound boring, though. Try me. Alright, well for me, when I search for a partner, I invest most of my interest in personal qualities. Their gender never plays a big role. So this leads me to this leads to me being attracted to a variety of genders. I used to identify as bisexual for a while, but ultimately that label doesn't work for me because with bisexuality, gender is a factor of attraction, if that makes sense. So for bi folks, they tend to focus on gender when they're attracted to someone, whether that's male, female, or whatever else, but for pan people, gender isn't a focus? Yep, that's the gist. Interesting. I always just thought it was about two words describing the same thing. You're not totally wrong. They are similar, but the distinction is important. Cliff tilts his head back with his lips still pressed to the cup to the cup's lid for one last gulp of his mocha. All right, it was cool chatting with you, but I need to get back to work. I do customer service calls at home. I need to get back to my desk. He slides out of the booth and stands up. It was good chatting with you too. I hope work goes well for you. It's something. Catch you later. Bye. He turns tail and well, I don't think turn tail is the right thing to say. He doesn't appear to have a tail. I wonder if it's, that's just natural if there was an accident. Maybe it's a cultural tail docking. He walks towards the door and disposes of the paper cup before turning around one last time. Heading out. Bye, Dave. Bye, Pat. He waves, good he waves toward the two behind the counter. See you at practice. Later. I still have all my chips and half a sandwich to go. Got caught up in the conversation and forgot to eat. I need to finish and get back to work. Things were slow and steady, just the way I like it. Slow enough that I don't have to work too hard, but steady enough that I'm not bored. As promised, Pat got to leave at 2.30 sharp. He seemed real eager to get to the to get to where he was going. Things slowed down to a crawl as the clock approached four o'clock. Dave likes to be economic with his time when it comes to closing shop. He and I sectioned off areas of the dining room and cleaned them one at a time. Even though there weren't many customers, there wasn't an idle moment. By the time four rolled around, we had completed most of our closing tasks. Everything was all done by four fifteen. Awesome work today, bud. You really are. You're really getting the hang of the register. Yeah, it's a no-brainer for me now. Good, glad you enjoy the workflow. He beams a toothy, toothy grin at me. Well, I just gotta mop up the floors in the kitchen and I'll be heading out. Go ahead and see if April needs anything. I think Boss Man should be coming back soon. Uh. Excuse me. I'll do that, thanks. Nah, buddy, thank you. I find April and join her behind the main counter. Hey, Dave's closing up shop. He asked me to come out here. Cool, I was working back there with Dave and Pat. It was nice. It was a bit. It was a uh, busy for a bit, but mostly steady. Did Pat behave himself? Yep, for the most part, he was a good boy. For the love of God, do not say that to his face. Oh, jeez, does praise excite him? I mean, the dude gets turned on if you just glance in his general direction. I call him a good boy though, and he'll get ravenous. Like there was this one time where we both had a party. He got wasted, and there was. We were interrupted by the entrance of a customer. Oh, hello there. And walked a young man, quite tall and absurdly handsome. He's sporting a tremendously fit frame. He's a white deer whose coat was peppered with dainty orange spots on his cheeks. I've never seen a deer with fur like this. Hi, sir. How are you doing? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm... I'm good. Um... He mumbled a bit when he talked, not making eye contact with either of us. Oh, he's socially awkward, too. I love it. Should rename this game socially awkward or something social progressions cord awkward i don't know <laughs> all right it seemed like his eyes were making contact with literally everything in the store except for april and me happy to hear it welcome to chronicles is there anything we can help you with yes actually i'm friends with chester he told me to come by and talk to you to sign me up for a, a show thing this weekend oh did you want to watch or did you want to perform uh, perform he answered, he answered her matter-of-factly. Okay, cool. April dropped the customer service tone and transitioned to a less intense version of it. Still friendly, but more like her usual self. So, what do you do? Um, what do I do? 
Yeah, like, what kind of musical act will it be? A piano. Okay, but like, what kind of piano? Jazz? Classical? Modern? Oh, yeah, I would like to do classical. Oh, this has to be the guy Ch Chester mentioned this morning. Alright, have you ever performed before? Uh, plenty of times. I did recitals when I was younger. I also have a master's in composition. Oh, awesome. Guess you're not a smut then. Yeah, no, I'm not. I already showed Chester a video of my last recital. He said I'd be good uh, to just walk in and sign up. Gotcha. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and get that sorted. She clicks through the point of service desktop to pull up a spreadsheet. What's your name? I am Trent. Uh, Trent Cornell. Uh, two L's. April goes through the ask through and asks for more details. Phone number, email, etc. How long do you want to play for? How long can I play for? You're going to be an opening act, so 20 minutes max. Oh, well, I can do the whole 20 then. I've had hour-long recitals before. This will be easy. If you say so, you wouldn't mind being the first one on stage? Oh, no, yeah, that'll be fine. He seems to do that strange yeah, no, and no, yeah speech mannerism. It's a little confusing, but after a while, you learn, to, you learn the code. No, yeah means yes. Yeah, no means no. Yeah, no, yeah means yes. Yeah, no, for sure means most definitely. Context also matters tremendously. Um, any chance I can try out the piano I'll be playing on? No, yeah, um, Eddie, mind taking Trent here to the baby grand? No, not you too, April! Yes, yes I can. I'm not falling into that fucking trap. I'm going to say yes and fucking mean it when I say the word yes. She raises an eyebrow at me. She probably thinks I'm being weird, which in all honesty is a fair observation. Ah, come follow me, sir. I lead the way with Trent and Toe. I navigate through the showroom to the one, one and only baby grand we have in the building. Here you are. Play to your heart's content. She gives, he gives me a split second of eye contact before very rapidly readjusting his gaze to the instrument. Great, thank you. Trent, sen Trent sensuates himself on the bench. He adjusts his posture set up perfectly upright as he extends his paws forward to lightly graze over the keys without depressing any of them. Please don't be copyright. He starts slowly, then picks up the pace. He plays a classical piece that sounds quite lovely. He's doing so with seemingly very little effort. I'm finding this to be quite soothing, more pleasant than the general cacophony created by the music, music store's usual patrons. It's nice to hear something so gratifying and elegant. The deer turns to me. The C-sharp 4 is flat. The who 4 is what now? The C-sharp. He plays the note for me. It's flat. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what that means. He gives me a puzzled look. You, uh, do you only work in the cafe? I imagine you should know what this means. No, I work up here too. I just started yesterday. Another puzzled look from the deer. Okay, but why choose to work at a music store if you don't know anything about music? Ouch! Suddenly you're looking a lot less handsome than before, Buster. Where's all this criticism coming from? Look, I'm learning. I just moved here and I really needed a job. But you could have chosen to work somewhere else where you'd know more about the products you're selling. You don't seem to know much about music. Excuse me? I wasn't aware Chester had also promoted you to assistant manager while he was gone. I've half a mind to tell this guy off. Where does he get off telling me what I should and shouldn't? Nope. No, Eddie. Not today. You are not going to talk back to a customer today. You need to be the happy retail worker that you're conditioned to be. Breathe in. Breathe out. Listen, I'm just trying to get by here. I'll learn about your C-sharps being C-flats or whatever some other time. I can only learn so much in one day. I made sure I give him a little attitude with that response. He looks away for a moment and just stares at the floor. He gives me no response. He silently turns back to face the keys and plays the instrument once again. What a weirdo. Well, no, that's not a nice thing to think. Perhaps I shouldn't judge him so harshly. F from our interaction so far, he seemingly doesn't have the best social skills. I should know a thing or two about poor social skills. I've spent the past couple days having anxiety attacks because I couldn't keep the dialogue flow during our conversation. There's no venom in his words. Perhaps he's not trying to be antagonistic. He's just giving me fair criticism. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank you all for I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold-tier patron, Terezum Guy. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our not-safe-for-work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye